Hello and welcome to the web hosting manager tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to copy an account from another server to another server with the web hosting manager um, control panel. So this would be uh, see another cPanel installation being moved to another uh, larger server usually within the, uh, the web hosting manager portal and how I've uh, navigated here would be from the, the home page when you log into your server and I've started to type transfer in the, the find here and you can see uh, under transfers you've got a number of options copy an account from another server so we're going to click here and the other server we want to copy from is a web hosting manager cPanel so we just leave it on uh, this option here and this is for the IP address so if I was copying one say from this server I would add my IP address for this server here like so uh, the remote SSH port 22 and we can check the SSH connection and it's fine our secure shell access is there uh, use SSL uh, we're going to leave these both these boxes ticked if you didn't want to copy over the databases you could select this here but we want all the information to be copied this is a full transfer um, we're then going to add the username here. So whatever your username is, you could enter it here. And the username on the, the new server. So if you want to keep the same username, just leave this blank and it will copy over your username and use the original username. Unless you're changing the username. Um, if you do change the username, it's going to open up... Uh, some other issues for you with your databases as the paths uh, to access your files through the databases are going to be including this username so you will have to edit the SQL files to reflect the change of username if you do decide to enter a username here but leave this blank to keep the same we're going to leave it blank to avoid having to edit the SQL um, change DNS on source server to point to local server we, we can just do, do that after it's all been transferred we're going to check uh, to make sure it's all gone through okay before we edit any DNS uh, the authentication so if you know your username and password uh, the username we've put up here uh, otherwise you can just select root and just use your root password so once you've got all this information here you'd enter your password here and click transfer accounts here and that's going to automatically take care of uh, transferring over all your databases your email accounts um, your subdomains your files everything and it's the, the fastest easiest way but you do have to make sure that you're moving from one server installation to another service server installation that are very identical so in this case they are they're both cPanels with web hosting manager installed so that's how you do it, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.